Kia ora. In this video we're going to have a look at using the bootstrap confidence interval mode on NZ Graffer. In this video I'm not going to discuss usually how bootstrap confidence intervals work. If you want to understand how they work have a look at my video of the bootstrap confidence interval teaching tool. In this one I'm just going to show you how to draw the graph. This data set here shows the weights of rugby players in New Zealand and South Africa. We're looking at a dot plot and box and whisker, and we can see there is a slight difference. The New Zealanders median is just slightly above the South Africans median. What we want to know is whether or not this is a significant difference. So if I change my graph type here to a bootstrap confidence interval median, you could also choose mean depending on what data you are looking at and the circumstances, but we'll choose median for this one. So at the top here we've got a box plot with the weights of the rugby players from New Zealand and South Africa and down the bottom we have our bootstrap confidence interval. From this I can be reasonably confident that the New Zealand rugby players will have a median weight that is between negative 3 and 8 kilograms higher than the South African rugby players median weight. Instead of looking at weight and country, if I was to look at the weight by position, what I've got here now is I've got them my backs and my forwards. I can be reasonably confident that the forward rugby players will have a median weight that is between 16 and 23 kilos higher than the back rugby players. Just like with all of the graphs on NZ Graffer, you can right click on this graph, copy the image, save it and then paste it into whatever report it is that you're working on. And that's bootstrap confidence intervals in NZ Graffer. Just a reminder, if you want some more explanation on how bootstrap confidence intervals work, go and check out my video on using the teaching tool, bootstrapping.